And good evening. Off the top at six tonight, day four of the war in Israel. Israeli warplanes continue bombing neighborhoods in the Gaza Strip as Hamas abducts and murders innocent civilians. We're seeing new scenes of carnage. Children were found butchered on a kibbutz. Their parents were murdered right next to them. And President Biden is condemning the Hamas attacks, calling it an act of sheer evil. 14 Americans have been killed and at least 20 more Americans remain missing. In the West Bank, thousands of Palestinians have gathered to protest Israel's continued attacks on Gaza. And tonight, President Biden has confirmed that Hamas has taken American hostages. Let's get right to Local 10's Glenna Milberg live in the newsroom with the latest. Glenna. Calvin Nicole, some of the images we are bringing you tonight are going to be hard to watch. Even as the acts of war intensify, the acts of brutal terror are just being discovered. Israeli soldiers today at one of the kibbutz communities. It's something that I never saw in my life. Where rampaging terrorists unleash cruelty and carnage on families Saturday morning. Babies, their heads cut off. That's what they said. Gunned down, families completely gunned down in their beds. You can see some of these soldiers right now comforting each other. The images of those families, the pleas of others who survived. Terrorists came to the door. They were throwing grenades in. Families are taking their searches of the missing public, some with evidence their loved ones are among the 100-plus hostages held somewhere in the dense maze of Gaza buildings. The optimistic scenario here is that she's held hostage in Gaza and not dead on the street of the kibbutz where we grew up. American citizens are confirmed to be among the hostages. U.S. lawmakers are overwhelmingly united in backing Israel's mission. And the resolve to make sure that Hamas is never able to do something like this again is, is strong. The Israeli air assault is punishing. Retaliation with a mission to disable and dismantle Hamas and its terror capabilities. Uh, the resolve is high. Uh, as we see the atrocities, uh, it saddens and tears our hearts, but it also serves to galvanize our spirit and our focus on what needs to be done. This has just been a relentless tempo. Hamas has not stopped a rocket campaign into Israel today, and this time warning the target would be Ashkelon, an Israeli city north of Gaza. What did I do? In Gaza, morgues are becoming overwhelmed. Israel's operation sparking protests today in the West Bank. We do have a lot of ground troops in this area. We have a lot of tanks. Though Israel is amassing troops and tanks at the Gaza border, signs a ground invasion may be to come. The U.S. support is arriving now. American warships already staged this weekend in the Mediterranean. It is just after one in the morning, and in the last hour, we learned that the first plane carrying U.S. ammunition landed at an airbase in Israel just east of Gaza.